it is what day is it? Monday. 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 It's Monday. <laughs> and we are at Ibisu in Western. And it's very pretty. And we haven't been before. And they have a Christmas tree. And Debbie's with me. Yay! That is a very, very beautiful katsu curry. It is, isn't it? Very lovely. And I've got some soup. Well, this is my bento box and it looks amazing! Yum yum yum! Yum yum yum! Yeah, hmm? Yum yum yum! Yum yum yum! <laughs> Are you happy? I'm very happy! <laughs> I don't really know what's going on here. So I put a treat ball out for Dana because we're running out of food for her. Whisper seems to be supervising the ball for some reason. I don't really know what's going on. Whisper? No. Whisper? Why don't you move out of the way if you don't like her? Honestly. You look so worried. So the idea was to get the tree up and put the lights on it and give Cooper a little bit of time just to get used to it before we actually put any um, ornaments on. So far, they're doing alright. Hey guys, um, so this is a little bit of an update. It's um, Thursday. Yeah, I've done one night shift, so it must be Thursday. Um, I had a phone call this morning from um, a lady called Helen, um, who works for one of the consultants at the pain clinic in Bristol. Um, I saw them, uh, well, I've seen them a couple of times, but I saw him about three years ago. Um, and since then, I've just been kind of through neurosurgery and neurology and various other things um for those who don't know i have lingual nerve damage um on this side which means that my tongue and inside of my gum is completely numb um and i have referred pain um in my mouth tingling burning pinprick sensations um and then i have referred pain from about here to about here um which aches if it's cold or if i've talked too much um like i'm doing now you know <laughs> um or if i've been socializing too much and smiling and things um, sometimes I have a list, sometimes I don't, depends how I'm feeling. Um, so yeah, I had a phone call from the pain clinic today to say that um, there's a possibility that somebody in Sheffield might be able to help. And I was a bit like, okay, random, but all right. Um, last time I went to the pain clinic, I asked, well, it wasn't the pain clinic, it was somebody else, but they then asked the pain clinic whether this thing called scrambler therapy might work. So I was a bit like, okay, well, maybe they've started doing that in Sheffield, perhaps. So I was a bit like, okay. So I phoned back and um, made the appointment for the 2nd of January. So after that, I will give you another update on how it's going. Um, and, and then I googled um, Sheffield Pain Clinic and went on their website. And it turns out they do trigeminal nerve damage repair. So with your trigeminal nerve, which is kind of here, you have two branches. One is the um, AO, I think, um, branch, and the other one is the lingual nerve branch. And so potentially, maybe I might go to Sheffield for some nerve repair, which after nearly seven years would be kind of cool. And if it worked, it would be amazing because it would mean I'm not in pain constantly. So I'm a bit like keeping my hopes at a level because I don't want to get them too high because I don't then want it to not work or not be appropriate for me or whatever but update a little bit scary but also maybe quite cool tell you how it all goes on the second good morning it's Friday the 13th I've just been on a night shift so I got the 
overwhelming pleasure of watching the election results as they were coming in from 11 o'clock last night and it started really well I think at one point we were like I think like Labour had nine seats and the Tories had three or something and then it all kind of went a bit downhill from there and this morning I think a lot of people are very upset about the whole situation so sending lots of love and hugs and warmth and all that stuff because I think we're going to need it over the next few months well the next few years probably <laughs> and yeah I guess it's all very sad really that that number of people think that the Tories will give us a better life I don't personally but who knows I guess it's just sad Dogs don't seem to care. Whispered voted for the biscuit party, but they obviously didn't get any seats. Also quite sad. And Cooper's too young to vote, so that's fine. Anyway, bye. Well, the kids don't seem that bothered about the election results. And spending most of their morning eating each other's feet and making stupid noises. I think we need a new hashtag, Be More Whisper. Be More Whisper! Well, we've put the baubles on the tree and it's looking very pretty. And so far, Cooper hasn't eaten any of them. Now, Sarah's work do was an 80s night, so we dressed her in drag and she went as George Michael. Uh, Here we are dancing with Whisper. Whisper. Of course. Careful, Whisper. Be, be careful. was a great party really good fun we stayed out till nearly midnight in fact i think we got in the car at midnight um and yeah it was really good um so when i went into town with debbie um where we had the japanese food i went to quilting in the meadows and got my crocheted stuff back um so i've put it all on my um facebook page um you can go and have a look uh, and here are a few items <laughs> from the this week uh next time i see you it'll be nearly christmas which is very exciting so everybody have a good week see you later bye <laughs>